close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness. You start with goodwill for yourself. Tell yourself, may I be truly happy. Emphasize the word truly. It's easy enough to find pleasures here and there. But for true happiness, you have to dig deeper. This is why we meditate. This is our motivation. And remind yourself, if you really want true happiness, your happiness cannot depend on the suffering of others, which is why you have to have goodwill for them too. To remind yourself that each time you think, speak, act, you have to do it with goodwill. If you start out with ill will for anybody, you're harming them and you're harming yourself. And then you're going to do things that they're going to want to get back at you for. So you have to have goodwill as your motivation for everything that you do. We're facing a new year coming up, and it would be a good idea to say, I want to start every day with goodwill. Finish every day with goodwill. Make that the frame for your practice. Think about the Buddha after he came to awakening. They said that he surveyed the world with the eye of an awakened one. He saw the beings of the world on fire with greed, aversion, and delusion. Looking for happiness, but just keep running into more and more fire. Doing precisely the things that make them jump back into the, into the fire. He felt a lot of compassion. It was because of his goodwill for himself and for all beings that he became Buddha to begin with. He was going to carry out his teaching. He realized there were some people who would be able to benefit from the teaching, other people would not want to benefit. And there was a point beyond which he couldn't do anything about that. But he did try to use his powers of persuasion to get people interested in practicing the Dharma, because that would be for their true welfare. Because after all, when you're wishing goodwill for someone, you're not saying, may you be happy doing whatever you're doing. You're saying, may you understand the causes of true happiness. And if you're doing things that are unskillful, may you change your ways. May you voluntarily change your ways. So when the Buddha was teaching, he was trying to get them voluntarily to listen to the Dharma, to accept it, to practice it. He did that for forty-five years. He had that much compassion for us. We should have some compassion for ourselves, some goodwill for ourselves. Try to see what ways we are setting our own minds on fire and what we can do to stop. And the better you are at putting out your own fires, then the easier it will be to help other people know how they can put out theirs. So in a world where people are setting fire all over the place, we can do the opposite. We can put those fires out, starting out by putting out the fires in our own mind. That way we can be safe wherever we go, and we give safety to others too.